Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. I have a screwdriver here. So this is the Creation Space Pro. This is actually a new product and it claims to be the world's most powerful e-screwdriver. This was sent to me by Creation Space free of charge, but I'm not being paid to make this review. This will be my honest opinion on the device. So let's have a look to see what this actually is and then we'll open it up and have a look. So here we have it, the Creation Space Pro. This is a Kickstarter product. And it is the most powerful pocket e-screwdriver, okay? It has a maximum torque of 6.1 kgf per centimeter, okay? And it comes in a handy kit, or at least I think the one I have is this particular kit. It comes in various options. It's type C charging, three torque modes, 250 RPM speed. We have some example uses of this. This is powerful enough to drill through wood, for example, as we can see here, okay? Some comparisons with other pocket e screwdrivers. And we have a handy adjustment here, which selects the force, okay? The screwdriver comes with a toolkit, as we can see here, various attachments, three drills and seven universal tools in the second layer. So there's two layers in this box, the second layer containing these parts, as we can see, okay? Flexible shaft. It has a magnetize and demagnetize little compartment in the holder here. We can see that. Okay, we can try that. It has LED light built in. Okay, we can see shadowless light. And here are the specifications. So we can see this product only weighs 350 grams. It will run for 90 minutes with no load, obviously much less with load in use, okay. And we can see the prices here. So these are the initial prices before the product was released. We have double packs, triple packs, bundles. You can buy three of these together, for example, or five of them. Okay, and a timeline. So this was launched last month on Kickstarter and it goes into mass production in April and these will ship out in May. So I guess I am an early bird here. This is a product that's not actually available yet, but it will be available to buy very soon. Okay, so let's take a look at it. I'll just open the box. So this is the unboxing. You can see this has not been opened yet. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we have. Well, we have a cable. We have a user manual. This is coming out a bit at a time, okay. And we have the package itself, the screwdriver with the attachments. Let's have a look what's inside here. So this is just a user manual in different languages. It's very simple from what I can see. So we won't worry too much about that at the moment. Let's have a look. Good sturdy pack. Okay. Click open. Okay. And there we have. So this is the pocket e screwdriver okay is there any charge in this let's see forward reverse okay light so you can see straight away and this sets the power middle high okay let's have a look in the pack so yes this has two layers a little draw flips over so we have some drill bits here we can try a little brush let's see what else we have a 
little spatula type device. A little clip, a bit like a spudger, a couple of those in here. So we have a few handy tools in here. We have the chuck for the drills, okay. And we have a whole variety of screwdrivers, okay. I've just noticed as well, I think this is the flexible shaft. Yeah, could be handy for getting into difficult places, that. Quite nice, okay. Small adapter, oh, I see from larger to smaller sizes, okay. And the chuck. You know, guys, the first thing I want to do this is to drill some holes, okay. Let's see how well it does it. I've charged this up, so let's actually try to drill some plywood. This is the piece we were playing around with the laser engraving cutter. Let's see how it goes. So, drill. Yeah. And the uh, chuck came out. Try that again. So this just grips in like magnetically. Okay. Yeah, and that worked much better. I just let it actually clear the hole before I pulled it out. So that's uh, working. It's nice and precise. It's very easy to hold this in position. Just try the torch. Yeah, that also gives a bit of illumination. You can see it, okay. Let's see if we can drill something hard, like a piece of acrylic or perspex, okay. Just have a go at this. Yes, it is drilling. I'm putting a little bit of pressure on that, but this is maintaining a nice rotating speed. I'd say it's actually most way through. It's just clogged up a little bit with the plastic. That's what normally happens. Okay. Yes. Okay, so yeah, hard material like acrylic, it drilled that just fine, no cracking, no splitting, it's actually made a good job of that. Let's try some laptop screws, so I'll see if I can find a suitable size bit. And that's a bit small, I think. Try the larger one. Yeah, that fits nicely, okay, let's see how it handles these, so... I'll put this down to the lower torque setting and let's see what happens. Yeah, it handled that nice and easily. Okay. Let's go for the medium setting. I'll try another one. So this one, okay. Get a good grip on it because this does have quite a lot of torque. You see how easily it twisted out of my hands. So I'll get a good grip on this. Yep. It's having no problems with them at all. I'll put it onto the high setting. Okay, let's go again. So this is on the high setting. I'm gonna get a good grip on this now because it's very powerful actually. Okay, yeah, this is uh, certainly very handy. I mean, the size of this tool makes it really Useful for this sort of work, that is for sure. Okay, let's go with another one. Yeah. In fact, the most difficult thing is to keep a grip on it. It has so much torque. Okay, let's try another one. Last one on this. I'll put it back onto the low setting. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, that one's quite a tight screw. Let's go to a higher setting. In fact, it's cross-threaded. That's what's happened to it. We'll just get it straight. Yeah, no problem at all. Okay, let's try a few other things. Okay, guys, this is an AT power supply. This is from a Retro 486 computer I was looking at on the previous video or two, actually, a couple of videos ago. So let's see how it goes with this. I'll put it down to the low torque setting and see if it can handle it on the low setting. Okay, I'm going to get a good grip of it this time. And that's just fine. Okay, go for the high setting as well. We'll just try another one. Okay. Spot on, guys. Let's just try a computer case. Okay, here's another old vintage computer. Let's see how well it works on this, okay? Yep. That has got some power, I tell you. Here's another one, an old AV amplifier. I was given this either to use or just use it for parts. Let's see if this works. That's quite tight, go again. Yeah, it got it. So, that one as well. Let's see if we can take this off. Uh-huh, one more. No problem, on the side. Okay, again, it's kind of twisty back on me. I give it a little turn. A bit more on that one. Okay, couple more or three more. Yep, let's keep going. That's a tight one. But this actually allows me to give it a little bit of help if I need to, okay? That one was just fine. Okay. Okay, there's just one more on top, as you can see just here. Let's try this. That's actually a tight one. And I actually found one that you can't unscrew. So they're extremely tight. In fact, it just doesn't want to have that one. Okay, let's go again. No, I just give it a twist. And it does come. So even the difficult ones it can do. Okay. While we're at it, let's have a quick look inside this. Yep. Lots of electronics there, either to salvage or to use. Okay. Let's have a look to see what else came in this kit. Well, I can see straight away we have some very useful attachments here. We have the three-way ones. I'm not quite sure what you call these, but they can be quite tricky to find when you need one. Different star-shaped ones. Five and six-sided, okay. A few hex ones. Flat blade. A few different and actually some larger bits. I thought I was using the largest one, but there was some quite a bit bigger here. A few more hex keys, some very small Phillips. Okay. So a nice selection of tips there. I have a screwdriver set that takes very similar ones to these, if not the same. Let me see. Yep, perfect. So they're like a standard size. So it would be very easy to get other tips to use with this. Okay. We then have a little extension, I think this is. No, this is to convert to a small size tip. I don't have any of that size, I don't think. It's definitely for a smaller size than these, but I would imagine 
Again, this is a standard size, 2.5 it says on it. So you can probably get a whole range of smaller tips that fit into that converter. The little plastic spudger type devices, a couple of those. As I mentioned before, like a little spatula, okay. A little cleaning brush, some more tips. Now I have noticed, and I will say this, that the small one is actually damaged, it's broken or bent, okay. Maybe I'm just unlucky, but I do actually have a damaged one in there, and I haven't damaged it, I will say. The other ones I've used one, it was fine. I haven't used other, but it looks fine. And then there's this flexible device for getting into difficult to reach spaces. I don't have anything difficult to reach, but we can try with this again. Let's just see. So we'll kind of bend this around the corner. Okay. Let's see how well it actually works. Yes, it does work. I just grab the end of it. So that, when you need it, would be extremely handy. Okay, you can actually hold this section of it, so this stays still while the thing rotates. Okay, that's, that's rather nice. Go again with one. Okay. Okay, so yes, that works. It's not quite so fast rotating with it, but it does work. I'm sure that can be very handy on occasion. So there we have it, the Creation Space Pro. I think this is a very handy tool. I mean, it works well, it's small. I think it's well suited to, for example, electronic hobby work and repair work where you're working on small devices. Clearly, if you have a big battery-powered screwdriver, it's going to be more powerful, the big large ones, but this is like a little thing you can just hold nicely in the hand for this sort of work. It works a lot better than the cheap ones I've tried, okay? It's not overly expensive, this. Yes, there are cheap sub-10 pound ones you can buy, but they definitely don't have the power that this one has. The light is a little nice touch, although I don't use it myself. It's not particularly bright. It consists of three LEDs in the end of it, but I guess if you're working in dark spaces, that's quite handy. So all in all, I like it. If I say anything negative about it, well, one of the drill bits was broken when I received this. And the other thing I'll just note is that the first time I opened this, the plastic clip broke on the lid and I just flipped it up. You saw me do it on video. I didn't do anything overly aggressive with it, but that's exactly what happened to it. Okay. It does still hold in place, fortunately, but you would think maybe that shouldn't happen. Again, these are actually quite stiff. Probably what caused that one to break in actual fact. But there again, it won't open up in the tool bag. And really, that's what you need, I guess. Okay, so yeah, I like it. I'm gonna use this on the videos for a while. I think the only way we'll really determine how good this is, is just by using it. It will save me some hassle and screwing cases and such like. And I'll let you know how I go on. You'll see me using this if you watch the channel regularly, okay? So there you go, guys. If you're looking for a handy tool like this, definitely consider this one. I was quite pleased with the performance of it. And I think you will be too. Okay, hope you enjoyed that one. See you all soon on another Learning Electronics Repair video. Ciao for now, guys.